This is San Diego City Councilman Carl DeMaio, and this is the latest edition of my video blog for the San Diego News Network. Our first question comes from Patty in Rancho Bernardo. Are you involved and supportive of the RB Historical Society in finding a new home for their museum? Well, as some may know, the Rancho Bernardo Historical Society has for many years been planning and raising money for a history museum that would not only catalog the history of Rancho Bernardo, but would also serve as a community center, a place where people could gather and various programs benefiting the community could be sponsored. Uh, they raised $300,000. I was proud to have supported their efforts with a $25,000 grant uh, based on efficiencies that we were able to achieve at our council district budget. Unfortunately, the site that they selected uh, is now the, the subject of a legal dispute outside their control and they're looking for a new home. My office has suggested that they partner with other organizations, perhaps even the RB Senior Center, uh, so that we can have one-stop joint use facilities. Uh, the Senior Center, I think, would benefit from this sort of partnership. And if not the Senior Center, I'm sure we can find other facilities that through this partnership would be able to benefit uh, from the money that the Historical Society has raised so that we can provide a real gathering place for Rancho Bernardo uh, and also a place that can archive the wonderful history that residents uh, have been able to create in this important part of our city. The next question is from Sa uh, Michelle from Sabre Springs. She asks, is the City of San Diego benefiting from the federal stimulus program? Well, yes, the City of San Diego has received funds and hopes to receive even more funds for a variety of infrastructure projects uh, and uh, some innovative projects such, such as a clean energy uh, generation program. Uh, but I think uh, we certainly could use a lot more uh, help here in San Diego given uh, the, the tough economy that we face. There's a lot of projects that are on waiting lists that we could fund with additional stimulus monies. But I'll tell you this, I have a concern. Uh, when we spend these dollars, we need to make sure that they go to core infrastructure projects that will really benefit San Diegans, not only short term by creating some jobs, but long term in terms of investing in our communities and improving our quality of life. And so I'd like to see us prioritize road and transport uh, facilities uh, so that we can really have a, a, uh, an investment in our local uh, transportation infrastructure. I'd also like to see us pursue money for water storage projects. We are at the end of the pipe. Uh, we have droughts, uh, and we need to really look at increasing our storage capacity. I think federal dollars could help us do that. I really appreciate all your questions. These video blogs are certainly uh, allowing me to answer what's on your mind. If you have a question that you want to submit, please email me at interviewcarl at sdnn.com. Interviewcarl at sdnn.com and I'd be happy to answer your question in an upcoming video blog.